Hello and welcome to General A&P Online. My name is Jill Carr. I'll be your instructor this semester for the fall term. And I want to welcome you to our class and give you a little introduction to our course. So what I have up here is our Blackboard course and it's organized pretty simply. We've got the announcements page that I will post comments every week, kind of how things are going, what the topics are. And you can look over that every week. And then we have the Assignments tab. This is your go-to section of our Blackboard course. This is where the folders will be located. So in my instructor view, you can see all the folders here are located right in this tab. And if I turn it off and give you the student view, then you'll see there's really nothing there right now because our first folder doesn't open up until Sunday at midnight of the week that we start. So week one will start Sunday at midnight. You'll see that folder open up the first week and every week there's lab and lecture material to go over and I'll explain that to you in just a little bit. But I first want to talk about our practice exam. This semester um, all online courses in general and advanced a &P here at Western are going to use a webcam for testing. So I want everybody to feel comfortable with that process. So I did create a practice exam that you'll use the webcam for and there's some directions here that kind of talks about how to get started with the testing and using the webcam and I'll go over that also. So if you go to the um, Blackboard sign-in page, so right now I'm in Blackboard so I need to actually sign out of Blackboard. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to log out. Right here it says Respondents Lockdown Browser. So this little link right here is what you're going to need to do to start our course, you need to download this to your computer and then you're going to see a little icon of a padlock appear on your desktop and that's how you're going to access your test. So when I click on this, it's going to give me the option to install. So I want to click install now and then your, your computer will go through the process. So once that's installed, what you're going to see then, if I go to my desktop, I'm just going to get out of all this, click on your computer after you've downloaded this Respondents Lockdown Browser by clicking that link, you're going to see this on your desktop. When you click on that, it acts like an Internet Explorer or like a Google Chrome and it'll take you to the Internet and then you're going to access Western's website and you're going to get into Blackboard. But you have to click on this first on your desktop to get into Blackboard and into our course because if you don't, it's going to ask you for a password for the test and you don't use a password as long as you've entered through Lockdown Browser. And what Lockdown Browser does is it prevents you from accessing the internet while taking a test. It shuts down your, your screen essentially and you can't access anything else other than the test that you're working on. And then within the test you're also going to have to take a or take the test using a webcam. So everybody should have a webcam purchased and ready to go. Um, if you're unable to do that, unable to, to test at home because of some special circumstances, um, I'd like you to contact me and we'll set up an, a, an arrangement for you to test in our proctored testing center that does require an appointment and you have to take it during their scheduled hours. So if you're someone who likes to test late at night or test, you know, really when you feel ready and you don't want to stick to a strict schedule, then I'd recommend getting the webcam because it just allows more flexibility. But the webcam is pretty picky. So when you're setting up the environment for your webcam, you have to follow some really specific directions and guidelines. So if we go to the Assignments tab and you look at this practice exam, you're going to click on this and it's going to take you to the exam. But before you go to the exam, I would recommend just following through these directions here. It really gives you an idea of what to expect when you get into that test and then you're going to take the test. And the good news is, is this is just a really kind of lighthearted practice exam, getting comfortable with the webcam and following the steps. And then there are questions in this practice exam about my syllabus and about some guidelines for the class. So some I added a little humor in there for your enjoyment, um, but it still covers a lot of really good information for the class. So if you don't get them all right, you can take it as many times as you want until you get 100%. So it's a, it's a low pressure test, no you know, big expectations for performance, just retake it until you get them all right. Um, really read through the syllabus so you do get them all right. Don't just guess because then you'll be taking it over and over and over again. Just have that syllabus handy and then take that test. So if you have any questions, just feel free to contact me um, and let me know and I'll help walk you through it as best I can. But I really encourage all students in an online class 
to consult the class first. I've taken a lot of time to type up a syllabus, to give you a course calendar, to make you feel comfortable in what to expect in the class and to know when things are due and what you have to do. So do take the time to look at your resources before you reach out and ask questions. Sometimes many of the questions I get are right in the syllabus or they're right in the directions you know, under this webcam practice exam. So do take the time to read those directions. Next, I'd like you to introduce yourself. So you click on this, this takes you to the discussion board, and then you're going to just give us a little introduction about you know, just what your program is, what your hobbies are, things like that. So I see that some people have already done that. That's fantastic. And then we go back. I have a lab packet here. This lab packet is great. It's going to have all the content you need for the lab exam. So if I click on that and take a look at it, every lab, I go over all these terms, and then you'll take a lab exam. And the lab exam is asking for these terms and these terms only. So it's really, really important that you not use other terms from your textbook diagrams, or maybe you have another resource that you study for general A&P, because if it's not these terms, those they will be marked wrong. These are the exact terms and guidelines we've outlined for our course, so you have to use these terms. And spelling counts, but I'm not super picky on spelling, so after the due date for the lab quizzes, I do go through and manually grade those lab quizzes and correct any points that were lost for misspelling. So don't stress out about that, I understand. I will go through and grade those for you, okay? But make sure that you printed off this packet and that you're looking at it and studying these terms and these terms only for the lab quizzes. Otherwise, it will get marked wrong, again, if you use other terms, even though they might be another term for the structure, they're not the approved terms that Western has after talking to our partners like Gunderson and Mayo and all the health areas. Um, these are the terms that we've agreed on that are being used in practice and uh, we want you to know those terms, okay? So if we go back to our course then, I also have a lecture notes packet. So if we click on that, it has all the lecture notes for our class, which is really helpful. Students appreciate having all the lecture notes and one. you want to have this at your fingertips. So this is what you would use to study for our lecture exams. And there's a lot of pages here, but each page, I not only have the slide, but I also have a description underneath of what the slide is talking about. So it's really a nice visual in addition to watching my videos, you know, knowing what to highlight, what's important. So it's really, really important to watch the videos as well as have this notes packet handy because you'll find that it just gives you all the information you need to be successful on those lecture tests. And then here I have um, flashcards. You have to download this link and then you print it in the printing properties, print it, print it as four si slides horizontal, then you can fold it over and cut it up and you'll have a nice list of flashcards. Students really like these flashcards. They use them in my face-to-face -face classes. When you fill them out yourself, I've got the terms on one side with the diagram on the other, and I do go through all these structures in the lab in my videos. So you'll have a lot of information here to help you prepare for those tests. So if you're someone who feels like, oh, I've got a lot of test anxiety, I'm stressed out about taking a test on the computer, the more prepared you are, the less anxious you'll be. And there's, there's a ton of research on that, that test anxiety increases when we are not prepared and don't feel comfortable with the material. So the more you use these resources, the more comfortable you're going to be. Okay, so going back to our assignments tab. So those are your resources you'll have at your fingertips getting started. I'd recommend going to a print shop. If you feel like you'd like to print this packet off, go to a print shop and print it. Do not print it on campus. They won't allow that much printing. Or you can print it off in batches, like print maybe the first 25% now and then a little later the other 25%, however you want to do it. But I think it's really important in an online class to have something at your fingertips and not have everything online because you can't interact with things that are in a digital format, but in a paper format, you can highlight, you can bold, you can put asterisks, and you can take it with you. You know, you can move it from room to room, take it in the car if you're going on a long trip, take it to work if you have that kind of a job. Just some suggestions for success. This is what students have told me help them be successful is they print off the packet, they print off those flashcards and they make those flashcards and review them. And it's going to build your confidence as a learner. When people put in a really good effort into classes like this, 
It just really boosts their confidence and they know that they're ready for the next challenge. But if you're barely skating by and you've got a lot of stuff going on and you're not giving it your best effort, when you get to advanced A&P, you're going to feel that much more insecure and that much more unsure of how well you can do. So build your strong base here and you'll reap the benefits in future classes. Okay, so that's the assignments tab. So I'm going to enable a folder to open up and that would be our first folder. They are they're arranged by week. There's 15 weeks. So each folder has the, the, the Monday of that week and then it tells you the title. And then underneath it are the due dates of what you need to do that week. So always watch your lecture and lab videos and taking notes in the course packet. You're going to complete lecture and lab homework through the Pearson website. That's, a, that's an online website that we're going to access through Blackboard and it's linked to our textbook. But you have to access Pearson through Blackboard. You don't want to go right to the Pearson website using your textbook because it's going to ask you for a course code, and that's not the way to access the homework. We want to go to our linked class, which is through Blackboard, and I'll show you how to do that. Then you're going to complete a lab quiz, which is in the folders, and a lecture quiz, which is also in the folders. And you'll notice that I open up the folder on the Sunday, so this is 9-2, which is a Monday. So I'll open this folder at midnight on 9-1, and then you're not going to have anything due until Tuesday, um, of the next week for the lab quiz and Wednesday of the next week for the lecture quiz. And this should actually be Friday, not Monday. Um, lab and lecture homework is always due on the Friday of the week that the folder comes out. So that should be Friday 9-6. So um, that way it gives you time to work through the homework, watch the videos, take the lab quiz, and then take the lecture quiz. Um, but you can do this in any order as long as you get it in by the final deadline. Don't wait until an hour before the deadline because you have nine days to complete the, the lab quiz. You have ten days before you need to take the lecture quiz. You have five days before you complete the homework. So you've got plenty of time to work through the material. Don't wait until the last minute. So let's go inside this folder and see what's there. So in the lecture folder, we have the lecture quiz, and that'll be due again the next Wednesday by 10 p.m. You have some videos here to watch. You have another video here, and a study guide, and then our lecture homework link. So this is the link that takes you to the Pearson homework. Don't go to the Pearson website. Access your homework, because again, the course is linked to our Blackboard course. Access that Pearson homework in the Blackboard folders. So you click on this, and that'll take you to the lecture homework. Now if we go back into our folder and go to the lab folder here, and there's lab homework. There's a video of me going through all the structures in that lab packet for the first lab, and then our first lab exam. Again, you're going to need your webcam and follow the steps with Respondus Lockdown Browser and all that good stuff. And then these are just practice activities. So they're not for points, they're just to help you refresh and review the material. And this is the flashcards link. Again, I have that major link for the flashcards, but I think it only starts with skin. So this one includes the lab exam one um, terms. So you can click on that and use that to make flashcards. So that's our first week, is going through the lecture folder, the lab folder, going through Respondus, making sure that you've done that. So to get that Pearson um, website going and linked to your um, access code, you need to click on the tools menu. And then you're going to go and look for the green Pearson link, Pearson's My Lab and Mastering. And then when you click on that, it's going to ask you to take you to a Pearson product. Mine looks a little different than yours, so you could click here, My Lab and Mastering Course Home. Click here, and then if you have an access code, it'll ask you to enter it. And if you don't, you can purchase one online. If you purchase, say, maybe a used book or you have a book from a previous semester, and you don't have the access code, you can access it here. So make sure you click on this and activate your access code. So that is uh, it in terms of what our general overview for online general a and is. I've been teaching the class for um, almost 12 years now, so I've done it a lot. I have lots of different types of students, so I'm sure um, if any of you are struggling, uh, you're not alone, and I've helped many students get through the class. So feel free to reach out to me, come see me in my office. I'd love to, to meet you face to face. And I think we're gonna have a good semester. So just um, hang in there, make sure you follow the directions, get that webcam 
up and running, get your access code activated through the tools menu here in Blackboard, and you should be all set. Have a great Labor Day weekend, and I look forward to reading your discussion board posts.